There are three general types of central lines for home use. A peripherally inserted central catheter, or PIC line. A tunneled catheter, and an implanted port. A hemodialysis catheter is another type of CVAD used only for patients receiving treatment for renal failure. Let's briefly review each catheter type. Peripherally inserted central catheters, PIC. A PIC line is placed through a puncture into the vein, usually in the arm. In babies, a leg vein may be used. The PIC line is advanced through larger veins toward the heart until the tip sits right at the entry of the heart or the superior vena cava. The line can have one or more access lumens that sit outside of the body. PIC catheters can be left in for months, and most people find them comfortable. The care involved with a PIC line includes The tubing sits outside of your body. The entry site has to be covered all the time with a sterile dressing. The sterile dressing and needleless connector are changed at least every seven days. The tube has to be flushed regularly, sometimes daily. The entry site should not get wet, so there is no swimming and it has to be covered during showering. The PIC can slip out so you have to check it daily to make sure it is secure and the length of the tubing stays the same. Tunneled Catheters For a skin-tunneled CVAD, a small cut is made on the chest, usually near the collarbone. The tip of the catheter is advanced into a large vein leading to the heart. The other end of the catheter is threaded under the skin and brought out through a small cut on the chest. Most catheters will contain a small cuff which lies under the skin and holds the catheter in place. The line is stitched in place. A tunneled catheter can be left in place for years with proper care. The care involved with a tunneled catheter is The tubing sits outside of the body on the chest. The cuff sitting under the skin at the entry site helps secure the catheter so it rarely slips out of place. The sterile dressing and needleless connector are changed at least every seven days. The tube has to be flushed regularly, sometimes daily. The entry site should not get wet, so there is no swimming and the site has to be covered during showering. Implanted Ports An implanted port has an entry port which is a plastic or metal drum and a catheter that extends towards the heart. The port is surgically placed under the skin in the upper arm, chest wall, or upper abdomen. The catheter is in a large vein with the tip ending right outside the heart. The middle of the port has a soft rubbery section where a needle can be inserted. This is called the septum. When your port is initially inserted, you will have stitches or a bandage over the site. Ports can stay in place for several years. The care involved with a port includes there may be discomfort at the port site or shoulder following insertion, which could last for several weeks. You will need to work with your surgical team to plan the best location for the port. Backpack use, bra lines, seat belt, and port accessibility should all be discussed. When not used, the port is completely under the skin, and only a small bulge is visible. A special angled needle has to be inserted to give medication or fluids. Numbing medication may be placed over the port site before the needle is inserted. When the needle is in place, a sterile dressing covers the port site. There are less activity restrictions with a port. You may swim or shower without protection when the port does not have a needle and tubing inserted. Hemodialysis CVAD A CVAD can be used temporarily for dialysis access. The most common site for a hemodialysis CVAD is the internal jugular vein, located on the side of your neck. The catheter has two lumens that are used at the same time. One allows blood to flow out of the body to be cleaned during hemodialysis, and the other allows clean blood to return to the body. A CVAD is used for short-term hemodialysis or while your permanent site is healing. The care for a CVAD used for hemodialysis includes Tubing sits outside of the body, usually on the right side of your neck. Sterile dressings cover the site 
and are changed every two days if gauze is used and every seven days for transparent dressings. Dressing changes are usually done during dialysis. Regular changing of the needleless connectors and flushing of the tubing is required. The entry site should not get wet, so there is no swimming and the site has to be covered during showering.